Hello guys and welcome to Bush Life. Today I'm going to be doing some work on the pond. Now if you don't know, here in Australia it's now autumn time and autumn is my favourite season. And what better way to celebrate the beginning of the autumn times than to build a little Japanese inspired pond. Obviously it being Australia and the bush and all, we don't exactly get any autumn tree foliage around here. But that doesn't mean we can't celebrate anyway. Now today, you want to stay tuned because I've got some interesting stuff. I've got a tarp here to keep the water in for the pond. So we'll unwrap that in a second. And I've got this Japanese pagoda. It's solar powered and it lights up. So we're going to be unwrapping all of this quite soon. And we're going to be decorating and finishing up the pond in today's episode. Get into it. All right. Now let's start by I'll just move that out of the camera by undoing this tar. Right. There we go. Open this here. Perfect. Now this tarp here, undo it, see how big it is. Alright, so that's our size. Oh, no. Alright, so, roughly this is our size. So we'll go like that, and I reckon we can make the pond a bit bigger today as well. So we'll dig out a bit more of a bigger hole. I'm just going to put that over there for now. And I've got a different mask now. It's thinner, so the audio should be a lot more clearer compared to last episode when I was testing this whole thing out. Anyways, let's get this pagoda out of the box. Alright, here we go. Oh! fine we're fine it um it got a little bit of a dent but it just goes with the um the design it's all part of the design as you can see here we've got our um solar panel got a solar panel there and this little button here it actually makes it flicker you can't really see it right now but it does work it does work you give it sunlight, obviously, and it'll light on up. Just trying to see if it still does it. Uh, we'll look into that, but it's roughly going to go around there-ish on the pond. Obviously, we still got to do a bit of digging, though. So, I'm going to get my shovel. I'm going to get right into that. gonna move this back here so it's out of my way and first we're gonna clear out all the excess leaves that have uh, fallen down in this hole since I last dug it which was probably about a month ago now um, I've got rocks here to put around it I'll probably have to get a bit more though but they're just down there so that, that's fine got to really pull these roots out. Oh, yeah, got it. Now I'm trying to think about which way I want to dig it. Because if we're looking at the top, we want to have at least this area here, right here. We want to have all of this dug out. So we have more room to put the tarp in. And we want to kind of flatten the surface around to lay the tarp out. I've got some dirt there from digging out the hole which we can then use to um, cover up the tarp so the tarp won't be visible once this is done. The tarp's just here to keep the water in the pond. But uh, we'll cover the tarp over with dirt, leaves, plants, and over time it should just grow naturally in. 
and uh, it'll keep the water in, which is the main part, and it should all look quite lovely. But, if I look in here, I ain't getting anywhere with this small little shovel, so it looks like I'm going to have to go back up to the house and get the bigger shovel, and we're going to have to really dig, because I'm seeing now the hole I do have here is not going to be big enough. So, I'm going to go grab that shovel, and I'll be right back. I'm going to do some digging. Let's do this. It's just about to cross the creek, but I can hear something. There's something moving in the bushes all over there. I ain't too sure what it is, but I'm going to tread carefully down here. My main worry would be a snake. Now, just by looking. Oh! And it fell in the water. Just by looking, I ain't seeing anything. So I should be safe to get up here. Hmm. Alright. Can we see anything down there? Um. It might be a lizard. There are quite a few lizards down by the creek. So that may be all it is. Let's get that shovel. Oh, someone's just pulled up at the gate of the house. I don't know who it is, but I'm home alone right now. And it's no one that I know. The only thing I can think of, it might be male. Maybe. So, let's... Let's go find out. I'm main concern if it is just male. If they see a man walking out of the bush, it's a little bit suspicious. Just dropped the camera. And if I sensed that, it would have showed my face. Can't... I can never open this gate. It's like always jammed. <sighs> Climbing the fence it is. see anyone at the gate now so whoever was there they're gone um, hmm. did you see who it is is that a yes or a no you can't eat the camera I should probably check on my bamboo plant in the sun I think I'm on this bamboo plant here it's very nice I'm just keeping it in the sun for a bit. I've watered it. Uh, it's just been cooped up all weekend in my room, so giving it a few hours of sunlight. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. We've got the shovel. Now, I'm not too sure what it is that I've done. I must have slept weirdly last night because I've been having some bad shoulder and neck pain. But it uh, shouldn't get in the way too much for what I'm trying to do. So without further ado, let's get digging. Roots are tight. Oh yeah, this is going to be a little bit harder than I thought by the looks of things. There's one real hard root in there. Oh, yeah, it's a big one, all right. That's a big root. I don't know how I'm getting rid of that. Yeah, that ain't budging. Whoops. My hair's getting in the way in this 
postmark as well. Alright, we're making progress on breaking the brute. There we go. Ah. This may be a little bit uh, more difficult than originally envisioned. Post mask ain't helping. Hmm. We might have to give the roof a bit more of a bash with the little shovel. Let's give that a go. It's worth a shot. The roof is like right in here. Oh, yeah, that's a a real tough cookie to crack that one is. Yeah. Right here. This is where it be. This tough cookie. Right here. Looks like it's still green as well, so that's gonna cause quite the issue. Yeah. This ain't budging at all. So I'm gonna have to try and come up with a new idea. Yeah. Whew, this mask is hot. Real hot. My hair keeps getting in the way. Now, it looks like what's gonna have to happen here is I'm going to have to try incorporate the root into the design of the pond because otherwise we ain't getting anywhere with this so it's about the best bet that I have so I'm gonna try still dig around here get that done and we'll see how things go from there so where's my shovel you can just dig around here Can dig all these plants out, we'll be good. The tree there. This is looking good. We got it. We got it. That's now free for me to dig in. Let's get in there. Boy, is there a lot of roots. A lot of real pesky roots in here.
There's the big one. So here we go. We've got our main hole here. So now, just a bit more digging and clearing out that we got to do, well really I got to do. Move a bit so you guys can see, so you're not looking at my backside. I'm just trying to clear things out a bit, ready for the path to go in. Alright, with these roots in the way, I reckon, yep, this is about as best way of getting. So, yeah, I'm going to readjust my mask after I move all this stuff out of the way. And then, we're going to put in the tarp here. which is covered in quite a bit of dirt as am I right, mask is fixed, hair no longer on my face so let's get this tarp in let's move this over there I'm going to set this out. I'm going to get it nice around the edges. Flatten it out. Alright, alright. Now we're going to put the rocks around the edges of the actual pond part and so also this part stays where it should. Good start. Real, real good start, but we still got a long way to go. So I'm gonna go and collect another round of rocks, and hopefully, I should then have enough to finish putting them around here so we can finish the outer ring. give you an idea of where the outer ring is, obviously you can see here, and then it'll go around like uh, that, so that inner part will be the pond, and then we'll cover up all the rest with some dirt, leaves, etc. And then we'll start putting in the pagoda, and decorating things all nice and lovely. Now I need to fix this mask, because I can't breathe. And if you're still watching, I 
random guy in the bush build a pond, you may as well just subscribe. Now let's go get those rocks. Rocks are just down in here. Just gotta find the loose rocks. Just... Seems I took most of them last time, but we can find some. Too small. Too big. Looks like we're gonna have to look further up that way. But I'll just cut straight back to the pond for you guys. Whoa. What a heavy load. Oh. And my mask is coming off. Now in between shots, I actually dug out a bit of a plant here just to um, clear a bit more room for the car. This is it. And my mask is coming off. What an issue realized it was on the wrong way. I was a little bit dumb. Now we've got our rocks. I found a nice little spot where I could find some of the rocks, so that's what we're going to put in here now. Oh, I hope it's enough. I'm worried it won't be. feel like I'm going to fall a bit short. Yeah, I don't think I've got enough still. Darn it. Oh, that's a heavy one. One, two, three, four. Looks like we're going to need another four rocks. So I'm going to quickly duck back down to where the rocks are, gather them, and I'll be right back. And then we can start covering up the tarp and getting some water in here. And I think I need some water myself. This heat is... Whew. And man, they weren't kidding when they said there was a heat wave on. Puppy break. I'm gonna see this dog grow up as the series goes on. rocks for good luck. So, let's put in the last rocks. There we go. Looks like we're going to do it this time. We're looking good. And one rock to spare. Let's just put that one over here. All right. Now we need to start getting all the dirt and stuff, and we need to cover up all the big blue tarp that's all here. The middle part we won't worry about because that's where the water will be which is going to be a pain to do, but we'll get there. 
But now, now we need dirt. So, first things first, I'm going to go look for some leaves. You know, we even got some right here. Because we can try this method of like covering it up with leaves, but the only problem is the leaves, they die. So I'm thinking maybe collecting loads of bark. So I'm going to give that a try now. Alright. I'm going to use this box here. And we're going to put the bark into here. And give this area a long overdue clean up I say. You might have to lean it against the tree here. I reckon that'll do. Doesn't have to be a clean job. The job just needs to get done. Hopefully there's no snakes under here. And if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed, I mean, think it out, you're still watching a toast man build a pond. You, you may as well subscribe at this point. Looks like we got our first load here done, so let's get this to the pond. Alright, let's now release it. Oh, look at all of that. Cover that tarp up. Very nice. Now over time this should just naturally cover up really well, but we're just going to put a very thin layer of bark on it for now. Just to give it a little bit of a speed up. And now I'm going to repeat this as many times as need be until this is completely covered. So I'll join you guys when it's completely covered. Host. All right, well, as you can see here, it's all covered up around the edges. That box proved pretty useful, but it's kind of dead now, it broke. And uh, it's real hot out, so I'm gonna take a quick break, bring some water, and start putting this video together for a few minutes, just to get my breath back, because I am seriously sweaty join you guys soon to go get the water for this thing. It's water in time. Gonna take this down to the creek and go back and forth as many times as I need to to fill that thing up. So uh, I'm gonna record one trip of it and then from there on we're gonna do what we do. This is gonna be very slow and boring, I can already feel it, but... Oh, it looks like a cloud's just covered the sun. I can feel the temperature drop greatly, and... Much appreciated, much appreciated. Let's go get this done. Down to the creek we go.
All right, we're good a bit wet, but we're good to go. I just spilt water everywhere. Completely soaked. Let's get this water in. Want the water? Oh, beautiful. Now to do that like another another ten thousand times. I look ridiculous, don't I? I already know I do. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful and brown. Right, well, as you can see, we got the water in. It took quite a few trips, and I'm completely soaked, but in this heat, I don't really mind. So, let's start decorating. Got our pagoda. Which we're going to put here, but before we continue, we need to dig out a little spot for it to sit in. Because we don't want it going anywhere, so if we dig a little hole for it to sit, it hopefully shouldn't fall in here, or who knows where else. Not too worried about stuff getting into the uh, little pond here because with the amount of trees up here, it's pretty much going to be a leaf pond soon. A lot of roots, a lot of leaves, very annoying. This looks like a pretty decent little spot we got going. And here we go. We've got a nice solar panel here. Goes right into the sun, so that's good. Nice. Obviously there's no point having it turned on now because sun's out. But that I reckon blends in real well. I reckon we've done a good job here today. I am quite happy with the progress that's been done down here. The pond is finally complete. So now all we gotta do is sit back and edit the video. And I'm going to keep this box here. It's proved useful if I need any more bark. It's just down here. And we're good. Oh, wow. Whoa. Boy. Feels good to sit in the shade. Completely soaked. Extremely dirty. Got a few cuts. But in the end, it was all worth it for what we've accomplished today. I'm quite happy with the pond. It turned out better than I actually pictured in my head, which is a, so that's a surprise right there. Then again, so did the tent here. But um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the progress done today. I'm quite liking the pond. And well, from now on, I'm not too sure where to go from here, I'll be honest, but I'll find something to build. So do stay tuned. I've, yeah, I'd, it would mean the world to me and it really helped me out just to keep going with this. Uh, having people following, supporting you, it just gives you that extra bit of motivation to keep doing what you love. And to be honest, I'll probably keep doing it anyway, but it would be cool if you guys could comment some suggestions, reasonable ideas of what I could do down here. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I'd love to hear the thoughts of what we've accomplished today.
I do have some grass seeds that I'm going to sprinkle around. I don't know if it'll do anything because of how hot it is out here. But on the off chance we do get some rain, hey, we might have some grass growing in there too, which will be pretty cool to cover over the bath. I do want to get some plants down here, some nice vibrant plants just to break up all the green and browns from the trees, just to um, make things look a little bit different down here. Unique, I guess. I really want to have this place as a nice peaceful getaway from modern life. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks. See you later.